problem is from random variables and distribution functions. See the density function of a random variable x is given as f of x is equal to e power minus x when x is greater than 0 and 0 otherwise. Now we have to find the value of e of x, e of x square and variance at x. So what is this e of x? So it is the expected value which is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x into f of x into dx. So in between this one we have to insert 0. So e of x is equal to this will be minus infinity to 0 x into f of x dx plus again 0 to infinity x into f of x into dx. See here when x value is greater than greater than 0, 0 to infinity the value here is e power minus x and otherwise the value of f of x is equal to 0. So if I substitute then this will be e of x is equal to integral 0 to infinity x into e power minus x into dx. So this is integration by paths, uv rule. So integral u v dx is nothing but u we have to leave, v we have to integrate minus integral derivative of u integral v dx whole dx. So in this formula if I apply then expected value e of x is equal to e of x is equal to u we have to leave x I am leaving v I am integrating minus e power minus x minus integral derivative of u. So, for u, the derivative is 1 and integration is nothing but minus e power minus x into dx. So, e of x is equal to, this is minus x e power minus x, again minus e power minus x between the limits 0 to infinity. Then the expected value e of x is equal to, we know that e power infinity is 0 and e power infinity is 0, the upper limit if I substitute the value here is 0 and at x it is 0 and this is again 0 and here plus e power 0. So e of x value e power 0 anything to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So we got the value therefore e of x value is equal to 1. So after getting e of x as 1 so next value what we have to find. So we have to find e at x square. So e of x square. So, the formula for e of x square is nothing but the second formula here is the second question here. So, we have e of x is equal to the value here is 1 and for the second one e at x square is equal to this is minus infinity to plus infinity. This is x square f of x into dx. So, this can be written as so e at x square is equal to this is minus infinity to 0 x square f of x dx and again from 0 to infinity f of x so this is x square f of x dx so when x is greater than 0 so 0 to infinity the value of f of x is nothing but e power minus x and otherwise the value of f of x is equal to 0 so after getting this one the function value that is e at x square is equal to this value is 0. So we have from 0 to infinity x square e power minus x into dx. Again it is of the form integral u v dx. So integral u v dx is nothing but u we have to leave. v we have to integrate minus integral derivative of u integral v dx whole dx. So if I substitute here in this then e at x square is equal to u we have to leave x square we have to leave as it is v we have to integrate minus e power minus x minus integral derivative of u the derivative of u is 2x and integration of v is minus e power minus x into dx so this will be e at x square is equal to minus x square e power minus x plus 2 times of this is x into minus x into dx. Again integration by parts this is u and this is v. So again I have to put it in this formula that is integral u v dx. So e at x square is equal to minus x square e power minus x plus 2 times of v u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus the derivative of u minus e power minus x into dx so e at 
x square value is equal to minus x square e power minus x if I multiply minus 2 e power minus x and this will be 2 into integral e power minus x dx. See here, so this is e h x square is equal to minus x square e power minus x minus 2 x e power minus x integral e power minus x is nothing but minus e power minus x between the limits. So, the limits are from 0 to infinity. See, if I substitute the upper limit as uh, infinity, then see e at x square is equal to e power infinity 0, e power infinity 0, e power infinity 0. The upper limit here when I substituted the value here is 0 and see for lower limit x 0, x 0, x 0. So, this value is 0, this value is 0 and this value is 2 into e power 0. So, e at x square is equal to 2. So, we got therefore we got e at x square is equal to 2. And next the third question here is, the third question here will be, see what is the third question? Variance. So, variance. So, we have to find out the variance of x. So, the value here is e at x square minus e of x whole square. So, which is equal to the, uh, the value here, this is 2 and e at x, e of x is equal to, e of x is equal to 1. If I substitute the value, this will be 1 square. This is 2 minus 1, this is 1. The variance of x value is equal to, so the value here is 2 minus 1, the value here is 1. Therefore, e of x is equal to 1. This value is 2 and variance of x is 1. Is one. Therefore, we got all the three values. So, this is how we have to solve. This is e of x, the value here is 1 and the next e at x square. After finding the value here is 2 and next variance of uh, x is value, the value here is 1. So, these are the three values which we have to find in this manner. Thank you so much for watching. Please have a look at my next video too.